Hey YouTube, I'm going to get started on this drawing here. Um, obviously you can see I've done the hair. I'm just going to use this same image to do the skin detail portrait. I think it will be interesting just to see how it's going to turn out. There's not really that much detail in this one, but I'm just going to jump straight in anyway. Um, I think I did lay down some pencil before. So I'm just going to smudge it in a little bit. Just get an idea how much is down there. Uh, maybe if I just do something that I should have done before I started this video probably. I'm gonna add the darker bits just so I know where I am. Just darken these slightly because I'm gonna smudge that area so it's almost like a little so I'm constantly measuring up I'm measuring between that and between that corner part of the eyebrow. So it's kind of in the middle, but then to the side slightly. So I'm gonna, now I'm measuring the height between here and the corner of it, it should be a little bit higher. Okay, oh, that's where it was. That's how I measure, I just measure one thing off of another. With the eye. Right, somebody on, um, my YouTube channel asked me to do this portrait. I think they liked the Rihanna um, video, which is really, really old now. But it was just a, it was just from photos, but they wanted to know how I did the skin. Now the skin on that Rihanna one took forever. And I will do another one like it. But um, for now, right now I'm just gonna lay down some graphite all over this area, because I wanna give them some skin color. I wouldn't say color anyway. It's just black and gray. But we're gonna go over the darkest areas here. Just with a bit of graphite. I always do this as a little guide. It doesn't necessarily have to be done. Or you could do it with pencil. Excuse me, I was up so late last night and I've got about another two videos to make so I better stop my yawning and wake up. Right. A bit more here. Above the eyebrow, definitely just underneath this crease, and definitely above. So it kind of goes up from over here, some in the corner. I'm going over this really quickly and roughly because um, as you can see that's why I darkened those lines otherwise I probably wouldn't be able to see them right now I'm just doing this because I have to be very quick so this is like a shortcut to laying down some some pencil for the skin also I think it helps with blending the pencil that's just my opinion you know it's not proven but for me, I, I get that. I give myself that impression anyway. I've been doing it for ages because it just seems like once you've got a layer down, you know, it's easier to lay it over the top. I'm sorry, I'm probably yawning because it's so quiet in here. I always watch um, documentaries or I just watch anything. I listen to stuff while I'm drawing. So, um, or music, but because I'm talking over this one, it's got to be quiet in here. You can hear my squeaky chair. So, I was on Snapchat last night doing some stripperness. <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, I used to use Snapchat a lot, but since I've been doing these videos, I haven't really had the time. Now, I could just put this all over to be honest, but I'm just gonna, I'm just being careful where to put it at the moment.
so I've highlighted most of the areas now. So basically all I did was lay down some graphite powder and then when I've darkened the eyebrow and the eyelid and stuff with um, a black pastel pencil, what I did after that was I used a little brush, which is this little brush, just to smudge the eyebrow and then go over certain areas that are darker. And that's it, so just to get an idea where the shadows are. It's a bit darker here, but anyway, then after that, I've used this rubber, this eraser, to create some lines in the skin. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, so to create some lines in the skin, this bit here has a line. Why did I not see that? I'm always going back and seeing something I didn't see before. Right. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I told you guys before that when I draw, I layer up and layer up and layer up, yeah, with the pencil. So I wasn't joking, like I literally layer and layer and layer. Okay. I'm just using a HB mechanical pencil just to create some lines in the skin. Now the aim here is just to get the feel of where the darker patches are and where the light patches are. That's really all it is that I'm trying to do here. Um, and also get all the lines in the right place because that's how you start to see the shape and the expression in the face start to come out. I don't know when people ask me, how do you get realism? I, I don't know how to answer that. You have to draw exactly what you see. And if the photograph looks real, then you draw exactly what you see, the person's gonna start to come up, become real. But everything is in the facial expressions, the creases in the skin. Um, there are everything, the highlights and the darker areas. It, these things matter so much. I actually love, my favorite part is when I jump in with a black pencil. I actually love that because that's when I feel like it comes to life. Or the first part of it coming to life anyway. Right, I'm just literally talking in certain areas. I'm getting that shape. So it's kind of goes there. Dark up to here and it kind of goes like this here. And then up next to that. Okay. A light part there. Just blend all of this over. There are a couple of lines here.
And again, I'm going to jump in with this brush, smooth those lines out a bit. Again, just to blend a little bit of the graphite around in the areas where it should be. Just give those lighter grey um, smooth lines or smooth smudges. This is literally how I create skin detail. I just keep going over and over it. So um, it's hard to explain, so I'll just make it so that you can see what I'm doing. It's a lighter pencil. This one is a 6H. I thought it was a 7H when I did my material video, but actually it's a 6H, I checked. Lighten certain areas. And now back in with the eraser again. Those clean lines, very slight ones. This one here is quite dominant, but because the outside of it isn't, the background isn't faded um, uh, or shaded, sorry, can't really see it, but it's there. It's, it's, it is important still. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 This is a Chucky Beat production. production. production.
Okay, let me just highlight in those areas. I think you see by now, whenever I'm doing a portrait, yeah, I always um, go over it, take away from it, go over it, take away from it. That's just a pattern that I use until it looks complete. I don't know why, <laughs> it's just the way that I started drawing. But it works for me, so. Um, sometimes I think it's it's close to being finished and then it just, I start thinking, no, 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 I can get this, I can do it better. And a few more layers and, and it looks a whole lot more realistic. It'll be a lot smaller on here because the image on the computer is larger. So let me just go ahead and take some of that away. Right. It's like an indent. So what I'm going to do is draw a very faint line around it. Then this side gets a little bit darker. Really faint. Got to put this side and it will go into the hairline with the rest. And then, This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 This is a Chucky Beat production. production.
but I don't really know what I think of it. Um, it's almost done now. I should be able to blend these in, add a few more um, eraser lines, and it should really be finished for now. You know, just um, an example of how I create skin detail now. It takes me hours, if not days, to create real skin detail. Um, ridiculous amounts of hours. I don't even know how I would put it into a video and I'm getting tired of putting up time lapses. I don't think time lapses is what people want to see. So um, I will at a later date do some sort of tutorial about how I do skin detail. Maybe in sections I'll do part one, part two, whatever. But for now, this is a very quick, well, I say very quick, this is probably a long video, but this is like my quick version of just showing you the techniques that I use to create the skin detail. That's probably a better way to put it. It's just the techniques. If you, you know, if you, if you take on these techniques, you can keep going, keep going for hours or days until you get it exactly how you want it. But this is how I do it. Uh, with the Rihanna picture, I actually did it tiny bit by tiny bit by tiny bit. And, um, you know, I was really happy with it at the time. That was the first, like, hyper-realism skin portrait or whatever that I'd ever done. But now I think I would do it this way. Just with a lot more hours in. But anyway, I'm going to get ready to finish up this video now. Just add a few highlights here and there. So this is how I create skin detail. Now, this would look absolutely amazing if I kept going, kept going, kept going, but I've got, I have no real intention of drawing this guy in full, so I really don't have the time at the minute, but um, babes, <laughs> I'm calling you guys my babes. I really don't have the time at the minute, guys. Um, my re-rees I just don't have the time but I do have time to jump into another drawing video I wanted to do one of, of expressions facial expressions but uh, I think I'm going to draw a rose I don't think I've ever drawn a rose before so I'm going to draw a rose I don't know if that's going to be long or short also, when I was a kid, I used to draw things like The Simpsons. So when we had a VHS and we used to have to put it on pause and it would jump all over the place, the image, so that <laughs> we could barely draw it. But that's how I used to get to draw Bart Simpson and stuff. So I think I might do like a kid's, um, well, not kids. I mean, it will be done with proper color pencils, but kids can probably watch it as well. But how to draw cartoons, how to color them in, how to, um, create depth in the colours, how to use the colours. So it's it's really gonna be for beginners. Um, I'm not, I don't, I don't claim to be an expert in, in colour pencils, um, but I have done some lovely work with colour pencils. So it's something I'm comfortable with. And again, I don't claim to be the best at anything. These, um, these t tutorials are just to show people that are struggling with any certain thing because I know exactly what it's like to struggle with things. So I've been there and artists seem to be quite secretive, the ones that I reached out to other than bar one or two. So, you know. Okay guys, I'm out. Thanks for sticking with me to this point. Right guys, I'm gonna stop there. Um, if you liked watching this video, please click like and definitely subscribe because I'm going to be uploading at least one video a day and I'm trying very hard to keep up with that so please 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 don't forget to subscribe because otherwise you're not going to get notified when I do other videos and um, share on your social media um, if you have a niece a daughter a, a next door neighbor who anybody that you know that is interested in art please direct them to my um, my YouTube channel and have a nice day guys I'll see you in the next video